I don't know. Uh, I don't know why Maria does this to me. I'll be all right here. I'm going to read. Do you not it. like NSYNC? I'm going to read it as written. Former NSYNC member Lance Bass is saying bye, bye, bye to the Brady Bunch house. Thanks you have to do the hand movement. I'm sorry. Me. I really, I had to. <laughs> he no. wasn't going to do it. I, I really had to yeah, no, take one for, for the team. Yeah, thanks for that. I don't know. Bad puns abound. Anyway, on Saturday, he posted on social media he had the winning bid on the famous house in North Hollywood. Wow. I and he says he bid way over the asking price of nearly $1.9 million. Then on Sunday, Bass wrote how it slipped through his hands. No. He says a day after he was told he made the winning bid, the agent said another corporate buyer, a Hollywood studio, wants to buy the house at any cost. Bass wrote he was prepared to offer a higher bid, but the agent told him he couldn't outbid the other buyer. Well, I don't know. Wow. I would bid really, really high just to make that other buyer pay for taking the house away exactly. from me. I know, exactly. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit, a little bit cynical, a little petty. Anyway, NBA a star, little petty. <laughs> NBA star LeBron James will produce a docu series called "Shut Up and Dribble" for Showtime. The three-part series, very aggressively named, will be on the changing role of athletes in the current political environment. It will trace the modern history of the league and its players. The series, titled Shut Up and Dribble, comes from a comment made by Fox News host Laura Ingraham. The, the series will debut in October on I'm, Showtime. I'm excited for that. There you go. I'm sure it'll be so very good. Very aggressive title. Yeah. Very aggressive. I think it's going to drive home some things that... LeBron really cares about. But <laughs> dozens of there pups go. got their paws wet in other news for the third annual NorCal Dog Surfing World Championships. Say that five times fast. No. no in thanks. California. <laughs> the pooches <Wow>. took <laughs> I love it. The pooches took over Linda Mar Beach over the weekend for a chance to surf their way to victory. Dogs were separated by size and judged for style and distance. Proceeds from the event go to dog surfing and environmental nonprofits. Look at them They're go with that. their little life vest. I gotta say, they are better surfers uh, than I shade. ever would be. And that one's got a mustache. He does. <laughs> well, sticking with dogs, this may be Clark's favorite story. Hundreds of corgis took to their marks, competing for the title of top dog in Washington State. Oh. The second annual corgi races had their dogs wagging their tails and flopping their ears all the way to the finish line. Now, kick it off with the parade of the corgis. The races went on all day in between scheduled horse races. Clark, I'm surprised you missed that. I'll be oh honest. Oh my gosh. Look at their little <laughs> legs. I know, they're oh, so small. oh my gosh. Okay, corgi butts are my favorite. Okay. I'm sorry. They're All just right. so fuzzy. Kind of weird. No, it's <laughs> precious. Look at him go. He's so excited. Good good boy. He's a good boy. Okay.